Good morning, sunshine, and welcome to Common Engines and Coffee. My name is Aiden, and this is my lovely wife, Maddie, who is actually the only person in this vehicle who could participate in the um, new Ghostbusters movie because she is, in fact, a lady. That's true. You, I think you, you could have been a good, um, you could have been a good Holtzman. You're not that great at building mechanical shit. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that was, like, part of the movie. I didn't know that she had to be, like, an actual engineer to get that acting role, but well, I, I could definitely pretend to hit shit together. Yeah, I, I was talking about, you're, you're, you know, you're actually the character. You're not like, you're not oh, acting in this uh, bitch. Oh, okay, okay. You're also no actor. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you're, Although you're, you're more of an actor guys. than you are a mechanic, I think. <laughs> I don't know, I'd actually, rather be a mechanic. Betty used to have, like, these weird little contraptions in her room where she pushed buttons and different lights would go on. I just that, like that taking you... things apart and semi putting them back together. But I mean, you know, that, that's how it starts. Yeah, yeah. I just never upgraded or to, like, leveled up to building doing gigantic else. plasma guns and that's shit. That's true. Yeah. So I guess we're talking about Ghostbusters today. Well, I figured. Yeah. I, 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 I also figured. Um, I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was really, really, really good. I all the shit I heard actually made it so much better. I agree. Because I was prepared. Uh, prepared, 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 prepared. I was prepared for the worst. I, so. Yeah, I thought about I personally, I walked in the movie theater thinking, Oh my god, this is going to be horseshit. like four or five times where I laugh and it's going to be pretty bad. Yeah. But it was really funny. We should preface this actually by saying that neither of us are gigantic original Ghostbusters fans. We've seen them. I've seen them. I... My dad's a huge Bill Murray fan, so I've yeah. seen it like a lot. I respect it, I, I guess. But yeah. I don't... It's not, it's, I mean, it, maybe it's not our generation. I don't know. Maybe it's not our humor. I don't know. But it's not like, it's not I, I, I'm a way bigger fan of like Bridesmaids and Spy than I am of. Oh yeah, for sure. And that's kind of why we saw it. Yeah. More we saw it more for. Yeah. Melissa McCarthy. Honestly, if it was a male Ghostbusters with. And it got this part of reviews, we probably wouldn't have I gone. I wouldn't have gone. Yeah. No. But I feel like the bad reviews and everything. Totally set it up so that you expect the worst, and it was actually really good. I thought it was fucking awesome. I actually. liked the plot. I thought it was really quite good. I, I laughed just as often as yeah. I laughed in the first one. No, I mean, I th I thought it was just as good as I don't know if it was on bridesmaids level because that that movie's brilliant. That movie's awesome. But it, it's like I thought it was just as funny and good as Spy was. I don't know. Oh, like Spy's on a different too. level too. I think though, Spy yeah. at least can have like all of a sudden there's a penis on the screen and you don't even know what happened. Game of Thrones, but there was just that one. Um, yeah, but the, Spy did that too. Remember, they're really? going through it to his phone. Oh, that's right. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I feel like, you know, because they made it kind of kid friendly. It was what was it? PG thirteen. I'm assuming. Yeah, I can't even remember. I can't remember. I don't, I don't think that they cussed, did they? What? Oh no, but they. Yeah. But no. Shit and stuff. Did they? Can you? So. Shit. The, no, what, I are, can't what are the rules? I believe that you you can get a. You, you can say one F word. I think you can say one F word or one S word. I think you can do I think to, for it to be PG thirteen. PG thirteen. I think you can say S words more. Because well, because I, I I I feel like I heard somewhere that the um the original Batman vs Superman cut or whatever had a fuck and a shit in it. And that's what made it R. Well, no, and then so they cut out the fuck and left when Batman just says oh shit. I'm trying to remember when he said that. Uh, when I think when Doomsday comes out of the thing and he, he's in his Batmobile, and their Batwing, he looks at him and goes, "Oh shit." That's cool. Yeah. I I thought the <laughs> the humor was awesome though. Like, um, I did too. Was just... I thought it was fucking hilarious. I, really I thought did. it was really cool looking too. I thought the ghost looked awesome. I agree. I um I like I liked the first half more than the second half. That once it got sort of actiony and stuff, I thought it stopped being as funny as it was in the first half. Did you agree, did you agree with that? I don't know, because, okay, so spoilers, now we're going to finally hit uh, yeah. spoilers. Yeah, so we're going to talk, yeah, okay. Um, Bill Murray as an antagonistic asshole in the first half yes. was ruining it for me. I agree, that, I, that, bothered, I did, that bothered me. It really bugged me, and so in the second half, when he's dead, yeah. spoilers again, Yeah. And you don't have to worry about it. I agree. I'm assuming that if you're a big fan of Ghostbusters, when Bill Murray is being an antagonistic asshole, that bugged you even more. Yeah, I would assume, because I, I didn't like it at all. Yeah. Him not being a ghost 
person was yeah. really kind of upsetting. Yeah. I like how they everyone made a cameo. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure everyone did, right? Yeah. I think even uh, I think Harold even Ramis was a statue in the beginning, which was cool. Yeah. So I, they, I, they should have made him a ghost. That would be kind of funny. <laughs> I know, I don't know if that been pretty good. <laughs> um, I felt like everyone else's cameo was awesome, except for Bill Murray's. I agree. I hated Bill Murray's. I can't remember um, the the black gentleman who does his... Um, What's his name? Ghostbusters. I can't remember his back. I only name. remember Bill Murray's name, so... Yeah, and Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd's cameo was also fucking awesome. Yeah, they were all just cool, yeah. except for Bill Murray's. And I ain't afraid of no ghost. Like, I like that part. Um, I don't know. I thought it was fucking great. It's actually Scorny Weaver's cameo was better than anybody else's. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. You thought she was going to be um, Holtzman's wife. That'd be fucking sweet. I was totally... Hey, your lane ends. My lane doesn't. Why does my lane end? That's not fair. That's okay. Just there we all. go. There you go. Um, I thought that's what it was doing for a second. Yeah, me too. But, and then it wasn't her mom either. It was just like I know. I kind of felt like you had to do something. Yeah. But it was just my. I guess she was like my mentor. My mentor. Maybe it was. Maybe it was mentor. like. It was air. Mentor. Things. Air mentor quotes. <laughs> air quotes. I think I already yeah. remember what it was called. Um. I I don't know. I really did think it was really really quite funny though. And, I too. I mean, I think it, it gets a bunch of shit for them being close. Which is which weird. I think that that's totally that's acceptable. Kind of weird. You read all the reviews, and it was just there's a lot of like there's shit a lot against of, it. There's um, bigotry going yeah. on on the internet. <laughs> I didn't know that that would even. Yeah. No. I, I I saw a bunch of stuff that it's like Ghostbusters was a guy thing, and now they're trying to make it a girl thing. Oh. I don't think it was ever a guy thing. I didn't know that we had to like. Yeah. Well, like separate everyone and everything. I, yeah. I, I saw, don't think Bridesmaids is a girl thing, even though it's called Bridesmaids. It's like, true. it's just as good for yeah. guys. It's funny. I, I love that movie. Yeah. Um, I, I saw one person say that it would be like um, making a My Little Pony movie where all the My Little Ponies are boys and the target audience would be boys. To which I say, there would be a ton of people that would be all over that yeah. shit. <laughs> and second off, this is completely different. I know. That's so weird. Yeah. That's so sad. I didn't even know how bigoted all the comments were until Aiden started telling me and then I was gone through it. It actually makes you feel really shitty about the world going yeah. through those kind of comments. No, I mean, it got, it got bombed. Like, the IMDb and Flixer and everything killed it. Yeah, I know. But, I mean, like, it did fine with critics. Not great, but... I, I don't know. I have to make enough money so that we can get the next one. Especially because of that yeah. Zool bit. Yeah, man. I know. That I don't was... know that much about Ghostbusters, really... but I do know fucking Zool. Yeah, you know Zool. Yeah. Uh, there's a part in the beginning where they uh, make Kristen Wiig listen to a heavy oh. voice... Modulator ghost something, thing. Something, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a fart or queef. You're... Yeah. And... So at the end, would I thought, it, oh my god, would it it's make good. it funnier <laughs> if it came from the front? That was funny. <laughs> I thought at the end, where it was, was the part, it was just going to be a fart. <laughs> I was almost I almost wanted that it, wasn't it to be a fart. Yeah. But I think Zool made it, made it good. Yeah. yeah. I'd totally see the second one. I would too. I, I legit Easily. liked it. I thought it was really good. And I want to watch it again when it comes out on DVD. And I thought yeah. it was awesome. It was awesome. All right. Anything else you want to talk about? I liked it. All right. Cool. <laughs> We give it a compliment just thumbs up seal of approval thing. Yeah, because we don't... I at least just give thumbs ups or thumbs downs. And she hardly ever gives thumbs downs. Yeah. yeah. So, very, 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 very. I just very, feel really bad. It's like these people spend so much time making yeah. a movie. I can think of one movie in the past, like, three years that we've gone to and you, you, they, you left thinking it was just dog shit. Is it the Valentine's? It was Monsters University. Okay, Monsters University and fucking Winter's Tale. Winter's Tale. You Winter's Tale, well. I was pissed. Yeah, okay, so those two. I can't really think of anything else, honestly. Yeah. Like, honestly, I can't. <laughs> I'll have to think about all yeah. the ones that I've actually made. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of Company Interest and Coffee, please like it, comment on it, and then subscribe to our channel. All the <laughs> fun, fun stuff. Peace out. Bitches.